एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल डेंटिस्ट्री टू द पॉइंट दिस इज डॉक्टर द्रोमिल मानिक सो प्रीवियसली वी एंडेड अप विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ म्यूकोएपिडर्मोइड कार्सिनोमा व्हिच वाज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन मेलिग्नेंट सलाइवरी ग्लैंड ट्यूमर टुडे आवर टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज एडिनोइड सिस्टिक कार्सिनोमा अगेन नॉट सो कॉमन ट्यूमर बट अगेन इट हैज इट्स नेम इन द लिस्ट ऑफ कॉमनेस्ट ट्यूमर्स ऑफ सलाइवरी ग्लैंड so adenoid cystic carcinoma has its two names that is cylindroma and basaloid mixed tumor now why these names are given you will get to know in the further discussion of this video or this topic now adenoid cystic carcinoma is a slowly growing tumor it is not going to grow rapidly or within a short span of time it is going to take years and it has a remarkable capacity of recurrence the chances of recurrence of this tumors are very much high as compared to the other tumors there is proliferation of ductal or myoepithelial cells the cells of the ducts of salivary gland or the myoepithelial cells there is proliferation of these cells in the form of various patterns if you see the histological section of this tumor that is cribriform pattern tubular pattern solid or cystic forms kon kon se pattern rahenge cribriform tubular solid or cystic pattern now we'll start with see start by seeing the most common age sex and site for this tumor that is most common age is again fifth and sixth decade of life that is elderly persons are more commonly affected as compared to the younger individuals there are some cases reported in the third decade of life also the most common sex again affected over here is females which are more commonly affected than males the most common site again it is going to remain the same that is parotid gland there are some tumors seen in relation with the submandibular or sublingual gland also but when it comes to the most common major salivary gland affected by this tumor then it is parotid gland in other if we discuss about the minor salivary gland tumor then submaxillary glands or the glands in lips and palate or in the tongue are most commonly affected palate is said to be the most commonly affected site in minor salivary gland so this was about the most common age sex and site next we'll discuss about the clinical manifestation so clinical manifestation of this tumor are going to be quite similar to the other uh, to the previous malignant or the tumors discussed about salivary gland so it exhibits a typical malignant salivary gland tumor it has its features like a malignant salivary gland tumor that is early local pain you going to have pain in that area which your area it has affected facial nerve paralysis if parotid gland is affected then uh, there are chances that there facial nerve is affected due to that tumor there is perineal spread in the facial nerve also so it can lead to facial nerve paralysis also in which cases in the cases in which parotid gland is affected next it has its fixation to the deeper structures that is if you try to move the tumor it is not going to move because it is going to be remain indurated or fixed to the deeper underlying structures whether it will be soft tissue or bone next it has local invasion that means it is going to spread locally into the area which has it which it has occurred next some of the tumors of minor salivary gland that is intraoral tumors may also show surface ulceration the surface of the tumor may also show ulceration so these are some of the clinical manifestation of this tumor the tumor has marked tendency to spread through perineal spaces i already explained you this point that why it has marked tendency to spread through perineal spaces because it is going to affect the associated nerve in whichever area it has affected so this was about the introduction clinical features and clinical manifestation of adenoid cystic carcinoma next we are moving on to the discussion of histological features so histologically if you see this tumor then you will see the basaloid cells of the tumor cells which are arranged in the form of cords solid nest or cribriform pattern cribriform pattern is considered to be the most common variant of this histological feature consists now let's see it consists of basal cells present in anastomosing cord in the form of cord as i told you or in the form of ducts 
mainly like cribriform honeycomb or swiss cheese pattern now this arrangement of cells is going to be called as cribriform pattern swiss cheese pattern or honeycomb pattern you guys have seen honeycomb and swiss cheese pattern how it is going to be same is going to be the cribriform pattern so the cells appear as if they are arranged in that pattern the ductal areas which are present in between the cells there is a solid mass of cells and in between in between the cells you can see the ductal areas now this ductal areas contain mucoid material in between this histological section the cells are also seen in tubular or solid pattern there are some rare cases in which this cribriform pattern is not seen and in turn there is tubular or solid pattern of cells are also seen the connective tissue component now talking about the connective tissue component of this tumor the connective tissue component of this tumor is often hyalinized surrounding the tumor cells in a pattern like cylinders now this connective tissue is so much hyalinized that it is surrounding the tumor cells and it is appearing as a in the form of cylinder so the name is given cylindroma and i also tell you that by the name basaloid mixed tumor is given because the basaloid cells present in this tumor are arranged in various pattern or various mixed pattern so basaloid mixed tumor and cylindroma because the hyalinized connective tissue is surrounding the tumor cells in such a way that it appears as cylinders so the name cylindroma is given lastly discussing about the treatment of this tumor it is surgical excision no other treatment option there were various option tried like radiation but it was not successful so lastly surgical excision is going to be the treatment option for this kind of tumor so this completes with the discussion of adenoid cystic carcinoma there is not much to remember regarding this it is very easy topic hope you guys enjoyed the video so please like share and subscribe our channel if you have any doubts then please write us in comment section we'll be more than happy to help you thank you